Oh my goodness, I think I set my hook too far, no problem. Number three, he's a pretty one, that's for sure. Today, we're trout fishing. So I've got a spot here that I've, I've come here before and actually caught plenty of fish. So I actually got lucky today. I was at work and we got the job done early. Dude said, go ahead and go home. I was like, heck yeah. So I ran home, grabbed the fishing poles and figured I'd come out here and shoot a video for you guys. All it is is a Carolina rig. But it's just a barrel swivel, a bead, and a little weight. I think it's a what, quarter ounce, yeah, quarter ounce, little uh, barrel weight. And it goes down to a uh, size eight hook. And then that, my leader from there to my hook is about a foot and a half, maybe two foot. So that way, when we're using this float and power bait, the stuff will actually float up and then it'll get above the grass and the fish will actually be able to see it. So I'm just forming basically like a teardrop around the shank of that hook and you want to cover the whole hook. I'm going to try to use hooks that are pretty light too so this stuff will float. There he is. Turn his camera on. Dang, he feels good. Oh my goodness. This thing's got some dagger on head shakes, dude. Dang, this might be a big one for real. First fish might actually be a decent fish. Uh, ain't nothing too crazy. Nice fish though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There he is. Check that out, y'all. First one of the day. That's what I'm talking about. The limit's five out here. We are, uh, we're over here at Waverly Park, and it's a Fins Lake over here in Kentucky. And they have these little parks all over Louisville, all over Kentucky. Uh, it's a great program, what they got going on. Fishing in neighborhoods, Fins Lakes, and they stock it with catfish and trout, I think three to four times a year. So it's pretty awesome, but I figured I'd come over here and see if we could catch a couple trout today. So the reason why I do this rig, that quarter ounce weight allows you to throw so much farther. A lot of these guys are using split shots and I'm throwing twice the distance as these other guys are using split shots. I promise you that. So the little quarter ounce bullet weight is the way to go, I'm telling you. Plus when that fish grabs it, it allows it to move more freely. It doesn't really get hung up in the weeds because it allows that line to slide through. Just like that. So, free bait. And we're gonna zoom this one back out. Oh, fuck it. Get it untangled first. Jeez. Watch that there. Oh. Yep. I seen that rod tip just barely bumping, dude, and I was like, they're, they're barely hitting it. I'm trying to keep you. Oh. Nope. Nope. Well, we got the one. How about that? Oh, yeah, he's a better one, too. Thank you. Oh, these trout, dude, they're so beautiful. Good lord, that took way too long. Oh my goodness, I think I was setting hook too hard, no problem. And then we found him, hopefully we can bang a couple out of Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a good fish too. Oh, yeah. That is a Mondo, dude. Number three. He's a pretty one, that's for sure. Make sure I get 
hit on this other rod. Finally, we're, we got two more to the limit. Hopefully, we can get a full dart. Gotta save every bit of this stuff I can get. I can only get them to hit this yellow. I can't get them to hit the orange. I've got orange on that rod. I threw both of them out in the same spot. They'll hit the yellow, but they ain't hitting the orange. I don't know. Got him. Got him. You got another one. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Get in here, boy. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. I love these trout. It's so pretty. Oh, oh, oh. We going to end the video like that? Yeah. Come on. Oh yeah. We appreciate you guys watching. We just caught our limit. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh yeah. We got our limit right here. If you don't come on. Oh yeah. And that is the limit, boys and girls. Well, we appreciate you guys watching Everyday Outdoors. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something about how to come catch these trout. Um, yeah, just using the Berkeley Power Bait, and that stuff works, dude. Comes in a little jar, you can buy it at Walmart. And uh, Carolina Rig, throwing it out there. And, you know, you got to keep moving to find these fish. We had to move around a lot. We've been fishing for at least f four hours, but we caught our limit of, of uh, five trout, so I... I didn't think it was going to happen, honestly, but we worked for it and we got it. So we appreciate you guys watching. Uh, stay tuned. We got more videos coming out. We're going to keep pumping videos out every Friday. So, yeah, we appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you next time.